Okay, now that your guitar is in tune and set up ready to go, let us move to step two. Step two is chords. Okay. Chords implies playing uh, more than one out at a time. So for example, that is technically a chord. That's not a chord we're going to learn, but it is a chord. Um, guitar is one of the only instruments that can actually do this. Uh, piano, um, the harp, some percussion like marimba and xylophone where you can play several notes at a time. Uh, can also play in chords and some string instruments like the violin can sort of play two or three strings together. Um, so most popular music is made up of chords and vocals with the vocals being the center of attention and the chords providing backup, okay? So what we're learning here on guitar is how to mostly accompany vocals in popular music um, for these first few lessons anyways. Okay, here is our first chord, E minor. Don't worry about the name of the chord right now, um, just play it. The E is again signifying a note, the minor is a quality of chord, um, we're going to be end up playing minor and major chords. Minor versus major. Major sounds higher, happier, minor, lower and sad, okay? But just play the chord for now, don't worry too much about the name of the, the, name of the chord. Um, so you should have diagrams in your uh, in your PDF package, okay? So how to read the diagrams, your guitar is actually positioned like this in the diagram with the frets going horizontally and the strings going vertically. And the dots show you where to put your fingers. So, and the dots should have numbers on them and those are your fingers numbered one, two, three, four, okay? So, for E minor, we will place our middle finger right in the middle of your fingertip here on the second fret. So one, two frets, second fret, not on the metal, but just behind it, okay? Um, and we'll press down on that string, on the, f on the uh, A string. And then we'll take our third finger right in the middle of our fingertip, also press on the, metal, on the uh, second fret, right behind the metal. So together we're pressing these two notes, and with our right hand, let's pick one string at a time like that, and listen for each string to be clear. Okay. Um, when you're pressing, you can sort of feel like you're pulling back like this with your left arm. So it's not entirely a squeeze. You also want to make sure that your thumb is over the neck like this, not behind like this, not sideways like this, over the neck like this, just behind your middle finger, okay? Um, you also want to make sure your left hand fingernails are as short as can be. If your fingernails are too long, they're actually going to interfere with you pressing on the strings. Okay, so if your fingernails are long, pause this video right now and go cut them. Seriously. Okay, so short fingernails, so you can press down all the way, pull back like this. Okay, right in the middle of your fingertip, you can see where I'm pressing the lines. <clears throat> and then with your right hand, pick one string at a time, okay? Hold your pick um, between your thumb and your index finger with the pointy end facing towards you. And that's how you're going to pick the strings, okay? Um, you're also going to pick on the last half of the sound hole here. Not up here, not back here. Right over the last half of the sound hole, okay? Um, now, some issues you might encounter with your left hand are string buzzes. That zzz, zzz sound, okay? That pretty much all the time means you're not pressing hard enough, so you gotta press a little bit harder. 
to get a clear note, okay? Um, other s issues you might encounter are like a muted or muffled string like this. That usually means that you're touching the string um, with the underside of your finger here, the string underneath uh, the one you're pressing. So in this case, I'm not pressing hard enough with my middle finger, so I gotta press a little harder, or pull back a little harder, okay? There we go, clear, clear. Okay, muted or muffled, right? I'm touching it with the underside of my finger. So in order to fix that, I'm going to just move my hand up a little bit like this around the string. Now it's clear, okay? Another issue sometimes people run into is the palm of their hand here is pressed against the last string here. So make sure you're not actually touching the last string with the palm of your hand. <clears throat> so again, E minor, E, right? All six strings, clear, all right, no buzzes, no muffled strings. I want you to try that a couple times, okay? And you also need to memorize these chords, because when you're playing songs, you need to be able to just change the chord immediately without thinking, oh, what finger am I using, or so forth, right? So again, middle finger, your second finger, on the second fret of the A string, or also the fifth string. We number them one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And then your third finger on the fourth string on the second fret. And again, according to the guitar, the uh, diagram, like this, right? You have the frets going this way, strings going this way, and your second finger, third finger on the second fret. Okay, so for E minor, there's one alternative fingering. You can use your first and second finger instead of your uh, second and third. So your first finger would go on the fifth string, second fret, the second finger would go on the fourth string, second fret, you'd play it like this. Generally the fingerings of each chord depend on how comfortable you feel using them and uh, which chord you're changing to and which chord you're coming from. So sometimes two and three on E minor might work better in some circumstances, sometimes one and two. Um, for now, I want you to pick the one that's easiest for you, that you can obtain the clearest strings, right? That you can get to most comfortably, and just stick with that one for now, okay? So either two and three, or one and two. <laughs> 